Under Megatron's orders, Starscream and the Combaticons ambushed and captured Optimus Prime under the ruins of Iacon during the assault on the Ark. Starscream's gloating on how he defeated Megatron's nemesis would earn him a blast from the Decepticon leader's fusion cannon. Starscream's luck would take an uphill turn, however, for Megatron was soon crushed by Metroplex, leaving him the new leader of the Decepticons. At the urging of both Prime and Metroplex, Starscream ordered the Decepticons to retreat. Starscream's reign as a leader was lackluster at best. He used most of the Decepticon energon and supplies to further his own ego and cover the Decepticon bases with portraits and effigies of himself and constantly broadcasting self-glorifying speeches to his troops. Anyone who wasn't on board with Starscream's reign was thrown into the prisons of Kaon. Needless to say, the prisons were full to bursting as barely a handful of Decepticons had any faith in their new leader. When the Autobots acquired the entire Energon supply the Decepticons kept in the Sea of Rust. Starscream sent the Combaticons to stop the transport. When the transport was out in the open, Starscream ordered an assault on it, despite the fact the anti-aircraft gun were still functional. As the Decepticons suffered heavy losses, Starscream aborted the mission and ordered a full retreat. The Combaticons ignored the order and brought the transport down, at the cost of half the Energon on board. Despite the fact that the Combaticons had saved the mission he had abandoned, Starscream accused them of failing and had them arrested. Later, Starscream decided to have a coronation for himself, despite the fact he had been in charge for some time now. Though sadly it was not to be, as a newly rebuilt Megatron crashed the event and took his crown back from the would-be king, much to everyone else's elation. Luckily, the air commander escaped Megatron's wrath, swearing revenge. Seeking the means to get back at Megatron, Starscream made his way to Shockwave's lab. He came across Grimlock and promised to free him and his team if they would serve him. The Dinobot, kindly, refused the offer by throwing him into the control panel, freeing himself. This apparently knocked Starscream out as he didn't get back up. Presumably at some point after, Starscream apologized to Megatron and came back in the ranks of the Decepticons since most of Decepticons that might have arrested him were cut to pieces by a rampaging Grimlock.